So we can fuel of the future. The new way WA drivers can charge up their cars. Our deep fry leftovers are helping power up electric vehicles. A byproduct of an Aussie favourite that usually goes to waste could unlock remote Australia to electric vehicles. Plans have been unveiled for a world first charging system powered by frying oil used to make fish and chips to be installed on the Nullarbor to power electric drivers to travel from Sydney to Perth. From deep frying chips to charging your car. This WA innovation is a world first harnessing power from something usually thrown out. Originally created to power an electric Targa rally car, it could be the key to unlocking remote Australia. It works for the rally car, it's perfect for the roadhouse on another ball. The fast charging system burns leftover deep fryer oil to power a generator. It's off grid and low emissions, the next best thing to solar but a fraction of the price. They can fast charge in locations where it's not possible, so they love that. And because it's carbon neutral, it's one incremental step where we need to go. 20 litres of vegetable oil waste will create enough energy to charge one car in less than an hour, giving drivers 320 kilometres of range. A charging station will be placed along the Nullarbor next month, plugging the 720 kilometre gap between WA's and South Australia's electric highway. A 200 litre drum will charge up to 10 cars. Roadhouses usually take a couple of weeks of fried chips to fill one, but they can be stored indefinitely. The cost of charging up is around half the price of filling a diesel car. Enthusiasts hope this will accelerate electric car ownership. It's the only cars that manufacturers are going to make, so we may as well start planning ahead now. Jacqueline Robson, 7 News.